We're about ready to go. I believe we're going to be heading into our match now. So uh, this is the this is my favorite portion of every bracket. Winner stays. You're on the hot seat. Yeah, this is where you can make or break your back your bracket. Build some momentum. Roll that ball up the hill. Potentially be able to snowball all the way to the finals, and it can all start here. Yeah, I love the way honestly brackets play out because of that, right? Because winners finals, you get the person that lost that a chance to collect themselves again. But the person in loser semis that wins, they get to ride that momentum directly into the next match, and we're gonna see who gets that privilege between Zondo and Red Ditto right now. Asuka, see what the chances of survival are here. <laughs> Asuka potentially in trouble here at 99, right off the rip. Is able to go for the back dash and gets the whip punish. That's a huge start. He's got the overhead locked and loaded as well. We gotta watch out for that. So he's just locked down on the ground. He can sneak that into any moment. But right now the gravity snap just doing bad work. What a block on the overhead from Red Ditto, bro. Trying to hit him with the rules. Goes in for the super instead. Plus raise on the switch. Teleports away. Finds that 2D once again. Oh no, bro, you in the tornado now. The staff caught in the middle of everything with the cubes. It was only a matter of time. But to a point you've been making, oh, never mind. I'll save that for another time. I was going to say, you see how much life Zondo has sacrificed, right, to get to this point. If Red Ditto can get one hit, he'll put him on life support. But that one hit did not come. Say, and it, it, another difficult thing about it, too, is that even when you do find that hit, you find yourself spending a lot of your FD, a lot of your meter just FDing. So you don't have as many reasons as you would expect to be able to cash out here. But now, corner pressure, 50 meter, make it 100, gets the air there, and sends the RC. Yeah, Sondo got caught trying to flinch, trying to wiggle out. Red Ditto, though, staying tight with the pressure, able to get the hard knockdown on the fourth of Otto. Give me that. No mana as well. We're going to the next round. Sondo locked out of any and all options. Yeah, not much to be done in a spot like that. Right away, it goes for the jump. He's able to get that jump jab for the lockdown here. Super jumps out and is able to get the confirm there with the fireball to be able to get some room. Indeed, make him juggle. That big cube is so good for combos. He juggles the opponent right there. Doesn't make them go far away either. Yeah. Okay, tutor up. Swap here. Gets the poke, but can't get the confirmed from Max. This is air throw once again. Red Ditto, like you said, with throws behind his age. Yeah, most definitely, man. Well beyond his years when it comes to the air throw game and gear. Oh, no meter here. That defense is going to be exposed. The BRC overhead, but he didn't convert off of it. That's a lot of damage left on the table due to no mana. Gets the close slash, uses the Wild Assault. Great way to manage your resources to be able to find that touch. The first game going here in favor of Red Ditto. Double beam dream, Red Ditto. The crowd is behind him. Might be the first time I've heard a crowd cheer for a random call. It's been a while. Keep it a book. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's See if we can keep that momentum up, though. Right off the rip, is able to get the counter hit. Yeah, did not want to have to deal with the pressure there. 5K to break some of these fireballs, but unrelenting is Zondo. Full confirm into the corner. Yeah, Zondo had the low rocks again, right? So you can't really thwart that with a normal, like we saw Red Ditto do with the cubes. Oh, whoa, that ended up landing really funky. I don't think Red Ditto expected him to be on that side after uh, storing a spell in the air. Got that FD to be able to get a little more momentum as we get across. Finds the load, teleports away. Nice jump timing. He sees Hondo now trying to fussy fuck himself. Get up and out of there, but instead locked down again and opened up. Give me that. Automato in the corner, 50 meters still available. Hondo spends the deflect shield right away. Whip punishes with the super. That was beast, man. He got so much mana back off of that. So we see letting the cubes fly again, the teleport on the other side. Red Ditto still ready for everything. And both the Bato, but blocked and punished Zondo. Not the one to be sleep at the wheel. Yeah, good way to be able to fully convert off of that. Now, yeah, we've managed our things here at the start. He's able to get the ACR with the cube, can't quite close the distance there. You know, spellcasters, we're not the speediest. Yes. Walk away though, to the rock. Nice jump, but again, it's oh. caught in an anti air situation. This is huge for Red Ditto right now. Zondo only has a mana card as well as the auto import. So he has to really get the auto import off now, and even then, his mana is so low that it's not going to be a great look. The RC gets the slowdown, gets a look. Wow. Yeah, even just using that RC to build back some mana. Now he did get the mana reduction cost, so he's going to be able to go in for a little while now. So many cubes actually to his name. Look at this, the fire. Oh man, and the crowd, <laughs> they yearn for the cube. 
Goes through again. Smith is spending the burst. Here comes the super. We punish again. RC is taking it away. Still alive here. Look at this run. Is this cube life? Oh my <laughs> goodness. Ends up sweeping in with the low, finding the touch, and evening things up. Red Ditto with a quick answer on game one, but Zondo grinds out that second. That looked like that belonged part of the Friday series, but that was Q Vision Productions. That was nuts. Red Ditto definitely not looking to relive that movie. All oh, that flex shield and perfectly timed to just punish the recovery frames of it. And straight into Mortal Mato there. I definitely love the idea. Keep it as easily scaled as possible. 50 meter built up now with the positive bonus continuing to rock. Oh, oh, oh. Tap us. You love seeing it. Hard knockdown in tow. Double beam dream. Oh, wow! Hey. The hardest of knockdowns. Six feet under type knockdowns. Hey, listen. Well, that super, what it's known for is slicing through guts, so it doesn't make sense. That's true. Oh, he's got, I was going to say double explosion. Whoa! He bought that in the air, and that pushed him past on the teleport. So Red Ditto did not expect to land on that side. Very funky. Couple it up once again. Finds the connection on the wall stick. Hard knockdown. How do we spend it though? Probably just gonna get a little bit of a recharge here. Yep, sends out the cube. Charges a little mana. No, instead, go CQC. And we're gonna get into space. Good block on the low as well. Fill up these cards, what he wants. Some cubes, the delays, the mice. The cubes all day to crowd. <laughs> oh, into it. The sad their party was rained on. Oh! Tough situation here now. Locked out. Doesn't have anything really to spend. Just FD in a dream. Goes for the jump away. Tries to look for the air to air. Does manage to get escape. Oh, and the dream might become a reality. Might turn into a nightmare for Zombo. The combo strong to block. Opened up low, low. Right back to the well. Red Ditto shaking his head because he dropped the combo. Didn't like that, but nonetheless came away with the victory. A convincing sell on the throw there, too, because a lot of times he's been going for strike. But when Zondo gets caught in the corner, especially when he doesn't have anything to be able to push you away, and that's when the throw has been the most threatening. So a great time to go back to the well on strike. Very, very smart stuff. Yoshi Dude. Head blocked again. Cube. Shouts to the crowd, bro. The crowd. Like I said, FGC crowds undefeated, as always. Indeed. <laughs> wild to hear, bro. Let's a close slash. Over things up again. The crowd pleaser. The five cubes. Oh, very nice. God, look at all this. The staircase cubes as well. The cubes keep flying. We got a teleport on deck as well. He's going to look to set up the staircase into the teleport most likely. Actually, just off the knockdown. And opens up Red Ditto in the process. That low. Trying to even things up here. The potential to take this to another game five. Double big red again. Big Red's a nice tool to just throw out of the neutral, as you see, exactly like that. Oh, Big Red. And now, we're back to the cube zone. Overhead blocks, really good defense from Red Ditto. He finds himself out of the entire gambit Zondo was trying to present. Does keep the RC going, keep the pressure up. On well, that jump loop, and I like that little delay too. Oh. I think was expecting that deflect shield once again, but this time just gonna be able to eat him up. Wild assault, 50 meter, almost full burst for Zondo. And look at the damage taken from Asuka. Oh, and the immediate super, the lockabout of the burst that he just got back. Dude, again, situational awareness on the 10. Potential set point now. Zondo has to fight back. And yeah, he's gonna try this now. Q Vision, you need this, bruh. The big cube. Oh, indeed. <laughs> and we're going at it all the way again. He's going to be able to pick up off this one. Shuffle the cards as well. Get the fully loaded spells. All day. Staircase on staircase. The dust is fuzzy blocked. My goodness, look at the defense on Red Ditto. Scratched him and still gets out of the corner. Yeah, this situation all of a sudden on a 10. Finds the hit. This could be huge. Oh. What a bottle right away. Hard knockdown as well. He wants to make sure he takes some of that mana away. Okay. Pressure still applied. 50 meter goes for the low after the dust. Finds the jab. Oh. Looks into the train. Actually goes his favor. Pick up the super. Is it enough? With the health. Oh, oh, it disappeared. The mana running out in the middle of the That's super. The second. Wow. The, the mana shield running out in the middle of the super. It's what caused that double beam dream to kill. Oh my goodness! 
unbelievable. Red Ditto going to be able to maintain but one time, obviously, one of the top performers into the top four. Please give it up for Zondo. Oh, my. Yes, please, everybody, give it up for Zondo.